Hi everybody! Um, today I have a makeup haul for you. I'm also going to do a catch up MAC haul um, just because I haven't really done hauls um, really since August of last year. I haven't done a lot of video content because I've had a lot going on. So today I want to share some things that I've got recently, some things that are not quite so recent um, and just kind of catch you up mm -hmm. on some of the purchases that I have made and things that I'm enjoying. And I'm also, like I said, going to do that with MAC and I'd rather do that separately because there's a number of different collections. I haven't got a lot but I've got a couple of things from different collections so I'd rather just do it all kind of like in one MAC video. Plus I know that not everybody likes MAC so I'd rather just do sort of um, that separately and then the people who do like it can watch it because I know I enjoy watching MAC videos myself because I, I love the brand and I like to see swatches whereas I know that some people would prefer to, prefer to see this. There's some high street, there's some higher end, there's some stuff from websites so it's a nice mix to be fair um, of things here to share with you today. So I'm going to stop waffling and I'm just going to get on with it. It's a little bit mixed up because it's all kind of like boxed up and just put on my desk so hopefully I'll kind of put things together that I got together but if not please do forgive me. So I'm going to start with the highlighter that I've got on today and this is the Unicorn's Heart. This is by I Love Makeup. Um, it's a nice little box. I love that it's a heart. Um, you know, it's a, I like this kind of box. I'm not a fan of the white plastic inside. Not me being picky, <laughs> but I just think that it, you know, mine moves around. Mine's not solid. It kind of moves up and down. So it's not the sturdiest of packaging but the actual product itself is so pretty I could not resist it. I'd love to see somebody do a small one that's a circle kind of eyeshadow sized so you could actually put your brush in and actually pick up all of the rainbow colours and get it on because I think that sometimes they're just a little bit too wide. But in here you do have lilac, I should have done that my thumb, I apologise, um, blue, green, yellow and pink. Oh, blue. Is that the lilac one? Yes, green, yellow and pink. And that is what the colours look like when you swatch them individually. They are all really beautiful. They are all definite colours, which is really nice to see. Um, it's The pink and lilac are fairly similar, though, I will say. I don't think there's a massive amount of difference between this one and this one, but the blue and the green are definite, which is great because I really do like, as a pale girl, I do find that I like like blue and green highlighters which I know sounds ridiculous but when you're really pale those kind of colours like really just pop on the skin um, but I also just think that they're really unusual and different and I think even darker skin tones I think that it was, it's just something a little bit different and it depends what colours you're wearing and where you're going I just do think that interesting coloured highlighters are actually really nice it's just something like I said something very different but you can mix them together you get kind of a, a almost a lilac-y a lilac-y silvery sort of colour Really pretty. So yeah, really nice. Oh, I think it was, I nearly dropped it. I think it was five pounds, um, but it was, I'm, I'm really pleased with it because I really do like this kind of thing. Um, I got a little lip balm that I got last October in H&M and he's just a little bat and I've not used him. You just, you know, sort of screw off the top. Um, I got him for decoration to be honest in my room. But I thought he was really cute. So I got him. I think he was $2.99. Um, right. Okay, we'll move on to this because it's right here. But I don't know whether... Oh, no, I can't. I better not. Okay, um, I did a recent Jeffree Star sort of my collection of skin frosts. I'm going to share with you the ones that I've got more recently. Um, these are actually in that video. If you've seen that, I apologise. You will have seen them. But I thought I'd quickly share them here. Uh, you can get them on Beauty Bay in the UK. Um, this one is Princess Cut, which I hope you can see. It's a bit difficult with the light. But that's just a nice pink shade. I'll go over these quite quickly. Um, I think I've shown Mint Condition before, which is just the green one, which I really love. It's so beautiful on. Um, this one is Ice Cold, which I was very excited to finally get a hold of because this is the Ivory Champagne White one which is really nice for my very fair skin and then the last one I'm going to show you is Lavender Snow which I was really excited about because this is a very unique kind of colour and that's it at the bottom and bear in mind they are quite heavy swatches but that just shows you they are so pigmented so I did want to briefly mention them they are pricey um, but they are definitely worth it they will last you a long time 
sticking with Jeffree Star, um, I also got the Androgyny palette. Now I do have the packaging for this one to show you. I wish the packaging of this had been the same as this. Um, not me being picky in any way, I just think, isn't this so beautiful? I love this dark wine sort of colour. Really pretty. But it's the same sort of packaging as he did for his last palette. Um, it's got like a snake skin sort of effect to it. And the writing's in gold. There's a mirror and a lid. And then those are the shades. Now I'll do quick swatches of those for you. Um, where will I do it? I do them here because I, th I don't think there's anything worse than somebody showing you something and then just not bothering to swatch it. So, and I actually am wearing a couple of these right now because I just did um, a sort of a chatty get ready with me, but that's the top layer of the palette. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. <laughs> so you've got um, Frosting, Safe Word, Charm, Deja Vu, Dominatrix which they're so beautiful. This is actually a really nice contour colour. I've got this in the crease, which is Dominatrix, Deja Vu all over the lid, and I've got Frosting in the centre of the eye. So hopefully you'll be able to see. I really love all these colours. They're so beautifully pigmented, and I had Charm in the crease, which I actually featured that on my Instagram the other day. So I think they're really beautiful. They're all, they're, there's a slight powderiness to them, but nothing too dramatic. And they are all really nicely pigmented and buttery, and they all seem to blend really nice. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll go underneath. The bottom layer is more colourful. So those are the bottom colours. So you've got androgyny, fetish, military. What are the last two called? <sighs> Poison and swallow. So really beautiful colours along the bottom. Love these greens and blues. I think it's done such a beautiful job with these greens and blues. Something a little bit different that you wouldn't normally get. And also just these really nice warm colours with androgyny and fetish. And I've got fetish on the lower lash line today. So really, really love this palette. I've actually been using it with the beauty colour because I love China White and beauty colour for all over. Um, and sometimes I like Princess, preferably for an inner eye highlight from that one. So kind of been using the both of them together, um, but so pleased with this. It was on Beauty Bay the same day it released in the US, which was so amazing also. I think that's really nice that they did that. And they did it with free next day delivery, so yes. I can't stop looking at it. I think the colours in here are so, so beautiful and they're just amazing. So very, very pleased with that. So that's the Jeffree Star kind of stuff out of the way. Now I'm gonna pull this box over here and try and get in here, um, cause I've got a little glossy box that's got all the goodies in it. What I'll try and do is the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Okay, so, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. So they released a lipstick, it was a limited edition lipstick called The Queen. Also, it's just in their standard packaging, but the packaging is so beautiful. It's metal, rose gold, it's really expensive feeling and looking. Um, and this is The Queen. That's it there. They're always beautifully pigmented, they feel really nice on. It's kind of like a very sort of fuchsia sort of red colour. I thought it was going to be pure red. Um, so I wasn't quite sure but then I put it on and I just love how this lipstick looks on so I'm really pleased I got it and like I said that one was a limited edition one and then I got a kit from them I don't remember I got this last year sometime I don't know if I remember if this is part of their Christmas thing but it was called Film Noir Nights and it came in this beautiful box and this box um, you open it and it's just so pretty it lights up <laughs> which I've got my ring light on. I'm gonna try and quickly turn that off yeah so there you go really nice but that's a really nice box because it lights up but it's got a mirror in there you can actually travel with this and you could do your makeup in this little mirror it's really nice so I really love the box and inside that box you got a liner I've been wanting to try that eyeliner for the longest time but I do apologize because it's quite short now I have been using this so much so this is the bedroom black eyeliner Super intense, very creamy, glides on, never drags, it's amazing. So I'm really glad that I got to try the eyeliner because I've wanted to try it for quite some time. And then the lipstick that you got in this set was 
Opium Noir. Which you know me in these kinds of colours. It's such a beautiful colour. It's a really nice dark red wine colour. And Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are so moisturising. They feel so amazing on the lips. They really last and I absolutely love them. And again, that's in the standard sort of packaging. So that's really nice. I can't remember how much that kit was. I want to say it was around 30. I'm not sure. 35. Um, but a lipstick on its own from Charlotte Tilbury is around 23. So that was quite good considering the box is really nice to keep. I'm going to show you this. I actually got this last October. It's from Suva Beauty. Be Suva Beauty. Um, I've not tried anything from them before but got this from Cocktail Cosmetics and it's actually called the Trick or Treat palette which you know me, anything Halloween but the colours in it were just, they grabbed me straight away and the shadows are removable so you could actually take some of these out if you wanted and substitute with some of their sort of their kind of single shadows um, but they are really big shadows but you get a nice matte white, I mean the white is so pigmented it's crazy and um, you get this really amazing yellow shade um, which has a really nice sort of frostiness about it. Then you've got this kind of orangey copper shade which has a gold reflect, it's stunning, and then this bright kind of orangey red shade. So that's what the palette looks like and that is the top row. They're beautifully pigmented. I've not had Silver Beauty before um, so I was quite excited to try it. So that's the bottom row and then that's them swatched. But this colour here so beautiful i love everything in the top row i've not used this and this yet but i will um but i love the wine color and of course i love a black in a palette and the brown was really nice just that gold it's not quite so pigmented but it's so beautiful so that's a trick or treat i believe it was like a limited edition but the colors just really spoke to me i just think they're really really nice and they are super pigmented so i was really excited about that um I, sorry it, honestly from october i don't remember how much it was i want to say between 30 and 40. Um, they are very large shadows. Um, they're not cheap, but they are amazingly pigmented. And I've actually worn, um, where you can see kind of the colours I've been into, I've worn everything but those two. So those are the only two I haven't done. So I might do a look coming up with those just to kind of prove that I can wear them. Um, but yeah, they're so beautiful, aren't they? I really, really love them. <clears throat> right, let's talk a bit of um, high street stuff before we get onto the ColourPop stuff that I received the other day. Um, I got two of the Lottie XO brushes, blushes from Superdrug. Right, I've got Zane and Zach. I'm pretty sure I ordered Zane and somebody else though, so I'm not really very sure <laughs> if I should have got this one, but I do really like it. Um, so they actually are quite large. And they do have a mirror in the lid, which is the full size. But this is the one that I've actually got on today. This one is Zane. It's a beautiful peach shade. It's, there. it's a really nice sort of very soft dusty nice true peach shade so I really really love that one and then the other one is Zach which is more of a plum sort of shade <sighs> look at the pigmentation I will definitely get a couple more of these um, I just kind of wanted to get two to try they're $4.99 each um, but that is crazy to have to go with a light hand with that um, but they are beautiful like I said I've got that one that peachy one on today and they're really really nice so very very impressed with those and then I did get some blushes from Essence because Wanna Makeup who I watch here on YouTube I love her I love April um she was talking about these blushes and I went in because I was in Sunderland um the other day um because I don't have like a Wilkinson's to near me so I went in and I found them. Now, I got a matte one, which is one that she hadn't mentioned, but I got the two satin ones that she mentioned. So I got the Bury Me Up, which is the matte one. They're a pound each, guys. I just think this is a really pretty colour. And that's it there. It's crazy how pigmented these are. They're so pigmented. But I just thought that was quite a nice corally shade as well, but it just leaned a bit more pink. So I got that one. Um, and then I got the two satin ones that she talked about. So I got Satin Coral, which is that one, which is so pretty. And the top of them is really nice as well. But that is what that one looks like. It's so gorgeous. It's like, a, that's more of a true sort of peach with like slightly more orangeness to it. But I really like those colors at the moment. And then the Satin Love is this one which I just totally fell in love with this one. 
I'm running out of places to put them. Um, but that's that one there. So you can see I'm kind of into these very corally sort of pink shades at the moment. But I think they're so beautiful. So I'm very excited to try those. I've not actually tried them yet, but she swears by them. I mean, they're a pound each. And she said that they last like all day long. And I was going to get an eyeshadow, but it was £1.50. And it's a lot smaller than these. And I thought, hmm, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I'm just going to get these first and see how we go with them. Because I've not tried a lot from Essence. So I was really happy to get my hands on those. Now we'll move on to, um, before we move on to Coco, I haven't got the nail varnish right here, but Rimmel released um, a Fifty Shades of Grey collection in conjunction with Rita Aura. I've got the nail varnish, which is the grey one. It looks quite light in the bottle, but when you apply it, it goes a lovely darker grey. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so I got that, and, and I got it because the girl in the shop had it on. She was like putting the stuff out, and I was like, oh, I like the colour of her nails, and I was like, she wasn't even putting rim on it, she was putting something else and I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, do you mind if I ask what have you got on your nails? Because I'm not shy to ask people. And she was like, oh, it's this new colour from Rimmel. And she took me along and she showed me and I was like, yeah, well, that doesn't look like it's the same colour in the bottle. She was like, it does dry darker and the buy one get one half price. So I was like, oh, I'll find something else then. So I picked up that nail varnish. I'm sorry I haven't got it to show you here. I will put a photo on Instagram. Um, but I did get the lipstick and it is number 170 and it's called Rita's Red. And I thought this was a really beautiful red. I love wearing red lipsticks, but I don't like to carry my MAC lipsticks out and about with me in case I lose them. And this is just a perfect bright red. That's it there. So I just thought I'm going to get that because I can throw that in my bag and not be too worried. Um, I don't like the smell of Rimmel lipsticks, it has to be said. I think they're very sickly. But I did love the colour and it was, you know, I got this and I got the other thing for half price. I think it was £5.50 for both of them. So I thought that was a really good deal. So that was my one Rimmel thing there. Right, let's move on to Colourpop. And then we'll finish with Real Techniques and Zueva. So the things from Colourpop, now these things have actually been sat in my mailbox since last November. And I still have another shipment to come over. I've just kind of been ordering stuff, letting it just kind of accumulate in the box. And then I've put it into two separate shipments. This is a huge shipment. But I didn't get a customs charge, so I was really, really happy. But I actually just did the U USPS post, which was trackable. I didn't do the like the DHL because DHL um, always charged me. <laughs> I think I've only had a ch not had a charge twice, and obviously somebody's not been you know looking for my name coming through because any other time they charge me. Um, but I did have quite some nice things coming through from Colourpop. So I did order one of these Hello Kitty kits. Um, this is the face kit, but isn't the packaging so beautiful? It comes in this box, which is this beautiful blue. It's got little Hello Kitties all over, like the outlines with the red ribbons on, and it says Hello Kitty, and then it's got little silver Hello Kitty sitting all over it. Really beautiful. I'm definitely going to be keeping the box. Um, the great thing with these boxes is you can take out like the insert part, which is this part here. It's, you can pull it out because it's just kind of stuck down. Um, but it's got Colourpop, Hello Kitty, and then a mirror on the lid, which is really nice because they don't normally put mirrors in. And then in this kit, I've left everything in to show you, you've got three eye products, two cheek products, and two lip products. Now, I will grab a wipe and clean off my hand, and I'll do some swatches of these for you. I think that they're currently selling this off. I'm not sure if they've still got it, but I know that they had reduced all the Hello Kitty stuff down. So you might still be able to get your hands on it if you're lucky. So let me grab a wipe, and I'll be right back. So let's pull out the eyeshadows first and I'm going to talk about the one that I've already used first. I'm going to put my glasses on, just, sorry, <laughs> just helps me see better. Okay, so I've got Juicy Apple, which is one I used. I thought this one was okay, I just didn't think it was very um, impressive with like the um, pigmentation. So I'd actually use this as more of a topper. Because I don't know if you can see there, it doesn't have a lot of colour to it. The gold glitter is definitely there. I see it's so difficult to show you because it's not like a super duper pigmented one. I think it's more of kind of a topper that I put on top of something else. Then the next one is called Bento Box. Which is this kind of um, steely grey colour. Which is pigmented. It's a really nice colour. I really like that because um, I don't have a lot of these kind of greys, but I do really like them. And then the last one that you get in here is Sticker Sheet, 
which is gorgeous. This is going to be lovely as a crease colour. So you can see I haven't even swatched that one yet, but I'm excited about it. Oh, nice. Yes, see. I knew it. Okay. So there's sticker sheet, which is just a nice warm brown. It's going to be great in the crease. So really, really love those. Now the two cheek products I did swatch because I was a bit concerned they weren't going to be for me and I just did a tiny little swatch off the side because I thought I may be selling them on but I'm not because I really like them. Uh, this one is Yummy Cookies. These are so soft to touch. And that is it. That is it. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> so difficult to see. Can you see that other peach? Yeah, you can see that. It's a really lovely peach, which I think is just going to be a gorgeous highlight for me. And then the other one is called Fun With Friends, which is a really nice peachy pink. This has more colour to it, for sure. That's it there. So you kind of got like a, a softer peach and then a bright sort of coral colour, which I think will be really nice as a blush, um, kind of like a blush highlight. So I'm actually really pleased with that because I really like them both. Then the two lip products. Yeah, and it seems to be called KT Sheer, but this is kind of a gold colour. Which I've just, I've done that, I haven't swatched it from there to there. I just kind of touched it with a clean finger and I've put it on my hand. Because I'm not sure I'm actually going to be keeping that one. Because I'm not that into gold. And that is a gold lip product, so it's not really for me. So I'm probably going to sell that one and I'm going to put that one aside but this one I am so excited this one's called ribbon this one is matte you know I love my reds but this is so stunning I've swatched this one already and I actually did order um they did this separately as well look at that color oh my goodness I'll show you it when it dries down but this is such a stunning red I'm so excited to wear it so very excited about that I actually ordered um a backup so this is what the packaging, same sort of packaging, I ordered a backup of ribbon because I just knew that I was going to absolutely love a ribbon. So I'm very excited that I got a backup for that. So I'll pop that to one side and I did keep the packaging for some of these things to show you as well. And I did get two cards, I got Merry Everything and Happy Always because obviously that was from Christmas and Hi Love You Have Perfect Taste which I assume came with the Hello Kitty stuff. And then the little booklet that just tells you about their different products and how to use them, which is quite useful. So I kept those. Um, now, packaging wise, Christmas collection came in this kind of packaging, which is kind of leopard and flowers. So I thought I'd keep that to show you. I also have some Amanda Steel, which kind of had like the fishnet kind of look and then sort of chains and flowers. So that was the Amanda Steel. Um, the eyeshadow packaging, that one's Amanda Steele, and that one's the Christmas one. I don't know if anybody's really interested. And then I got some of the um, limited edition ultra matte lips, which were kind of weekdays, and um, they come in coloured packaging, so packaging that actually matches the lipsticks. So let's move on to some eyeshadows. Oh, very randomly, I got this from Avon. It's a colour correcting pencil in the green colour in there and I want to do it. <laughs> um, I got eyeshadows. I got dessert. I got two desserts because I really like that in the crease. Um, they're actually in my backup drawer because they're backups. I also got a backup of Fairfax which is a brown which I've shown before. Um, yes, so those were the backup eyeshadows that I got. Right, I'm going to do the Christmas ones first. So these were the limited edition black packaging that they did. Um, this one is called Patchwork which is gorgeous and I think this one will benefit from having a dark base under it because it's really very much about um this is it here it's very much about the glitter on the top so I think something underneath it would benefit from that and then I got babykins which is this lovely plummy shade and that's that one there so they do have quite a bit of glitter to them. Whether when you get underneath that top layer you do because I've got a glitter on and once you get off the top layer there's really not much glitter to it. It's not actually infused in the shadow, it's more of a top layer. So we will see um, what these are like when you get further down. I don't know if it says what they are. Oh, Ultra Glitter. 
and ultra metallic. So this one is ultra metallic, that one is ultra glitter, so we'll see. But they are very pretty colours, so very glad that I got those. I got two um, just standard ones from the standard line. I got Paradox. <laughs> Paradox, which is a nice kind of burgundy shade. And that's it there. Really beautiful, really nice burgundy shade, really. But, well, really burgundy red. It's actually quite bright. It's really pretty though. I also got Cusp. Which is a lovely green. But it has blue sort of glitters on top of it. Is that such a bad place to swatch? Yeah, so it's green with blue reflects on. Really nice. Then I got the three Amanda Steel ones because I thought they were really pretty. I've worn this one the other day. I put a photograph on Instagram of me wearing an eye look where I was talking about Charm by Jeffree Star that I'd used in the crease on top of it. And I had on, um, I had a, oh, the should I had the Beauty Colour palette on basically by Jeffree Star, but then I had this colour called Steel in the centre of the lid. And somebody did mention about the lid colour. Um, but this is just so pretty. I think I've got, I might have contaminated that there, that other colour. It's going to be very difficult to see. Basically, it's just a beautiful pink, but it's kind of more all about the overspray. Let me see if I can do an even better swatch underneath. You're just not going to see it. <laughs> it's so beautiful when it's put on though, because it, when you put it on top of a colour, you just see all that beautiful pink overspray and it just looks gorgeous. So I got that one. Um, I got Hydroplane which is the bluey teal sort of coloured one which you will definitely be able to see I wish I would stop swatching in stupid places okay there you go Hydroplane which is a teal but it's got beautiful blue glitter on top of it it's, it's a gorgeous colour, it's really different so I really love that one and then the last one from her range was called Ignition which is pretty Lilac y lavender shade, I lilac, I guess. And that one is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to wear this one. So, really, really beautiful colours. I think that either of those with the pink in the centre of the lid will look great. So, those are the eyeshadows that I got from ColourPop. And I have a bunch of lip products to show you. Oh, and I do have another thing from Avon. I'll quickly fit in here. I got this. <laughs> it's the idea is it's the same as the beauty blend thing which you put on to create on wings, but you can also use it on the top of the eye to create creases. So it's just a, like a little rubber thing. It was one pound fifty, so I'm kind of trying that out and seeing how that goes. Um, right, okay, onto the lips. So I have one of the Christmas ones in here because I ordered this one and then I think I ordered a couple of others and a lip set. So they're in the other box obviously which I haven't shipped yet but this one's called Embellish and it is a beautiful chocolate brown shade. So when you look at it, it looks like it's going to be a lot lighter but it's not. Even when it dries it's not super light. It's just a really nice true dark brown shade. I've got two from Hello Kitty. One which I ordered and one which I didn't which I'll tell you about in a minute. And so I've got Mimi and Milk Bottle. So I ordered Mimi, but I didn't order Milk Bottle. Milk Bottle, they sent instead of something else, I'd actually ordered something else, so that's in the other one. And I emailed them and they said, oh, well, you can send it back once you receive it. And I said, well, I can't because I actually ship it to a mailing company and then ship it to the UK. And they were like, oh, well, we'll just send out the replacement one for you then. And they actually sent the replacement one out separately and they did it really quickly. And that actually went to my box separately, so. I don't know why I didn't put it in with this, but I didn't. Um, but this one is, as I said, did I say? This one's Milk Bottle. This one is a mat. And I'm actually really glad now that it was, it's a happy accident, because it's actually a really nice colour. So that's it there. It's a really nice rosy pink. And then Mimi is more plummy. I don't know if you can see the two of them together. Mimi is definitely more plum. Again, I mean, it's darker than what it looks like in the tube, but that's Mimi there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And Mimi is a matte as well. 
So I really love that. Then I've got three Amanda Steele ones. And I think she only had three as it happens. But I really like the colours of these. So there's a satin, a gloss and a matte. The matte is called Chaps, which is this lovely purple. So that is Chaps there. It's absolutely gorgeous. The satin is called Jiffy. It's such a beautiful nude shade. The matte one is Jiffy. So gorgeous. And then the glossy shade is called Hack. There you go. That one's Hack. I just thought it was a really nice pink. It's got a little bit of coral to it. It's really, really pretty. So that one is Hack. So that's those three. And then the last four that I got, these are actually the weekday ones that they did. Um, so I have Friday, Saturday, Thursday and Monday. And I'm wearing Monday today. Love Monday. It's this lovely coral sort of shade. So that one is Monday. It's really nice. It's a very dark and sort of dusty coral shade. I really, really love it. I've worn it twice this week. This is third time this week. Um, and this one is Thursday. That's what it looks like. And that is the swatch. It's a really beautiful colour. I really like that. It's a kind of sort of purpley fuchsia sort of shade. Really nice. Then Black Friday, obviously. Friday is just a black shade, but I will still swatch it. Which They had it out for Black Friday and I wasn't able to get it. So it's nice to be able to get it. And then I have Saturday. I did have Sunday, but I've just sold it on um, Depop. Because when I got it, I just thought, no, this colour's just not going to be for me. I just knew it. This one, however... I still hope they do these because I need this colour in my life in a permanent bit. This is so beautiful. Thursday. And that is it there. Oh, look at it. It's such a beautiful dark red. I love it. Look at the state of me now. <laughs> so that's all of the Colourpop. Phew, okay. Love Colourpop though. So excited because I haven't had anything from them obviously since like last year. Since I want to say last August or something. Um, or between August and October. Um, and then everything I'd ordered from then I just kind of left in the box. So it was really exciting to get that package with everything in. And the next one is primarily lips. Oh I did, sorry, I didn't finish the Colourpop. I do have three highlighters to show you. But the next one's primarily lips. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to get a job that I'm going for. And then I'm going to be putting in another order for a couple of lip things, but for the um, powder eyeshadows, the pressed eyeshadows, because they look amazing and I'm excited to try them. But I did get the three highlighters when they brought out the quite unusual colours. So these are all kind of um, moon sort of themed. So you've got over the moon. And believe me, the light is just not going to do these justice. This one is kind of a white with a pink overspray to it. And again, I just don't think you're really going to get the justice of that. Um, I'll try it on the back of my hand. These feel so soft and so cool to the touch. Hopefully you can kind of see that there. Yeah, you can. It's the pink. So that's um, the pink one. The next one is called Honeymoon. Now this one arrived broken, but I have pressed it back together. So this one is the blue one. This is kind of a lilac-y colour. More than blue. Can you see I've done a double swatch? We've got the pink, then the sort of more lilac-y shade. And then the last one is called Perilone, which is the green one. Again, so difficult to tell. I've got a top for that one. Lovely. So I love those. They're so pretty. Um, you've got the green, the pink, and like a lavender sort of shade. Gorgeous. So love those. Um, and we're going to finish with some brushes and then there's a waiver. Okay, so I got the new brushes from Real Techniques and they're the multi-tech ones. So this is the first one that I actually got. This is the Point XXXL. It's absolutely huge kabuki brush, you can see. It's massive and it does come up to that point at the top. I apologise, it does have powder on because I've just used it in this kind of video that I've just done my makeup. Um, it was a first impressions video, but I've actually used this loads since I got it. I've had this for about a month, maybe a bit longer. Um, but I think it was seventeen ninety nine. But I had a code. Basically, I'm a student again, so I've got my. I don't know why I was going to show you, but I've got my student union card, and you get twenty percent off with your student union card. Um, so I went into Superdrug. <clears throat> Well, you got 10% off, but this one day I got this email and it was like, oh, 20% off at Superdrug for a very short period of time. So I went in on Thursday and on Thursday it was 10% off as a treat for all 
card, beauty card members. So I got this, it was 17.99. I went to the counter and I gave them my card. They took off the 20% plus the 10%, so I got 30% off this brush. So that was like 180.93, over five pound off this brush. So I was absolutely thrilled. I don't know, I can't remember the exact price. You probably can work it out. Um, but I've sold because it's so soft, it's so huge. I love doing like a finishing powder with it. So I got that. And then when I was in Newcastle, I went into Superdrug there because these are you, these are exclusive to Superdrug at the moment. And I went in and they had them on three for two. I was like, oh my goodness. So I picked up, I wanted to get um, the Point XL, which is nice big again. I've used these today, so. And then I wanted to get the Point L. So. This one is kind of, I use this again for all over powdering, but it's really nice for bronzing. And then I got, there were three for two and then I got 20% off. So that was good. It's good that they do deals, but they still give you the percentage off. So um, yeah, they are really nice. They are very ergonomic. They do feel nice the way they're weighted for you in your hand when you're applying your makeup. And they're just a really nice shape. They're incredibly soft and that point is perfect. They seem to pick up product beautifully. If you watch my kind of chatty get ready with me, which is this makeup, you put it in the product and I just feel sometimes you put a brush in and you can't tell if it's picked too much above of the product or it just hasn't. These just seem to magnetically just pull the product and they just seem to really do a, a really great job of picking up product and they are super soft and they blend your makeup out beautifully. So I got those. And then just the other day, um, I got these because they're now on offer now, um, but they had 25% off, so it was £22.49, yes. And then I went in and I had £2 worth of points on my phone, because <sighs> when I set up the app on my phone, I couldn't figure out how to do the card thing. I don't know, I was just having, a, I don't know, a moment. So I just set it up as new on my phone. So if I'm in store and I am buy something, I use that. If I'm online, I just use my other card. So it just kind of keeps them separate, which is quite good, really. So I had £2 worth of points on there, and then I used my student discounts. So I got another 10% off these beauties, so I got another £2.25. Um, so they ended up being, I think it was about £18, which I thought was excellent. Um, you do get this little stand, which I wasn't going to keep, but then I decided I can put my other ones in that side. And then it doesn't take up too much space on the desk, because it just, like... Because it's quite slimline, it slots no, in. No, 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 no. But you do get, in this set, you get four brushes. Quite excited. I've used these today. Oh, my goodness. Okay. My goodness. I might need another set because they're so beautiful. And I can just, I just, I, yes, I'm going to be using them loads. And I even think that this would be quite nice for underneath the eye, but I didn't use that for that today. But they, you get four in this set. I do need my glasses, I don't know why I keep taking them off. So in this set you get the point small, or the S, which is actually quite big as you can see. I use that today to kind of put colour all over the lid. Then you get the extra small, which I used in my crease. Uh, this brush is amazing, it's fantastic. They need to sell it separately because I need a ton of these brushes. It's still got product on it. These pick up product like nobody's business. It is ridiculous. I had so much product, you'll see in the video, I kind of showed how much product was on and it blended so beautifully. It's what I've used to blend the colour in the crease today. And oh my goodness, I'm so, so impressed and I absolutely love it. So this comes to the point as well, but that's an extra small. Then I used the next one for doing colour under the eyes. This is the XXS which is actually really nice. It smudged it out really nicely as well. And that picked up product really well. And then I used the XXXS for the inner eye corner, which is super tiny. But these are so fantastic. They should definitely release these individually and definitely release more on the line. I wasn't interested in the brush thing, um, the brush stand. I'm not massively, but it's got like two sections at the bottom. I don't know if you can see, it's got like a little divider at the bottom. So I can put the face brushes on one side and the eye brushes on the other. And like I said, because it's not very thick and it's a nice, it is, you know, it's a rectangle. It slots nicely into a space on my desk. So actually I do really quite like it because it doesn't take up much room. So I'm really, really excited. I do apologise for the state of those brushes though, um, because I've used them. But I'm really excited about that. 
I haven't mentioned in this video, but I did get the um, foundation from L'Oreal, which is the Infallible Total Cover in porcelain. I got it for $7.99 when it was on a three for two, so I did pick three up in porcelain. I do want to get the next colour up, the next darker colour, um, because I think that it's a little pale and I might want to mix that in. But then I got the kit for $6.99. Um, I believe they're selling it as a kit for $14.99 where you get the foundation and these as well. Um, I think you can still buy the kit separately online though. I'd already bought the foundation, I didn't want to buy another one at the time. <laughs> um, but now I've decided I do want a darker one. But I did want to buy the sponge. This is the L'Oreal sponge, $6.99 for this. Um, but the kit, no, $5.99 for the sponge. And the kit was $6.99 so I thought well, I'm just going to get it because I love the set mist. This is the second one I've had and the one that I got in the kit has actually gone in the drawer as a backup. Um, but I love the Infallible Fix and Mist, it's fantastic. Just remember to shake it. And I really like the Infallible Primer. This is the Mattifying Base. So I've used these today to do my makeup um, with the foundation. So that's kind of what you're supposed to do. That's what the kit's for, to kind of use all of them together. And I love it. Um, but you should watch the video. I don't actually apply the foundation with the sponge. I actually apply it with a brush and use the sponge in a different way. So really, really love those products. I also forgot to mention these amazing lipstick holders. These were $6.99 uh, from Superdrug. And they're actually the brand called Bino, B-I-N-O. If you've ever been in TK Maxx, you will find these and they are very expensive in TK Maxx. They're very heavy, thick acrylic. <sighs> so difficult to show you without tipping everything out. But they're very, very thick. This actually holds 36 lipsticks, so it's really huge. And it's it's not too deep, so it just looks really amazing and really quite classy on the desk surface. Now, these are all my Urban Decay. There are some gaps in there because it's not. I don't have 36 Urban Decay lipsticks. But I just love how it looks. I got two of these and I've actually got them housed on the unit behind where the ring light is, side by side, and they look amazing because this is all of my other non-MAC lipsticks. Um, so I really like that they're set out like that and I can reach for them. So I definitely would check these out on um, Superdrug. I'll put the link below because if you put in acrylic organiser or acrylic makeup or just acrylic, then you, I think you can get these up. But um, not everything comes up because I think we've got two different brands of the acrylic organisers on there. But I was really pleased to be able to find those because, I mean, as you can see, it's really big. I do have um, the individual ones. I'll show you those. That I... So not individual, but these are the ones that I actually got off eBay and I've had forever. So these are great, but you just get more in those. These are kind of like all my coloured MAC lipsticks. And then recently I did pick up, I prefer these style. So these are actually, um, these are for holding nail polish, so they're kind of nail po polish organisers, and these are acrylic. This is the one that's got um, five layers to it. Um, and I've got two of those. <laughs> Nothing has gone right for me today. But I did pick up one of these. Um, I had, I basically got two pounds to spend off eBay. They're given like a cord. And this was 4 99 so I got this for £3. Um, but it's another one of those acrylic ones, but it's only got three layers. These are kind of like current ones or newer ones um, that I keep on the desk. So they're just great because you can get like loads in those. Um, like on one layer, you get 13 lipsticks. So it's quite a lot more than like the individual ones where they have their own individual sections for the lipsticks. Um, because you can get, my maths, 39 lipsticks just on this one little stand or oh, 39 mac lipsticks so i've actually got that on my desk at the moment just because they're kind of like more newer ones or ones that i'm really loving at the moment so yes um like i said i'm doing a mac haul separately um but the last things i'm going to finish with are from zoeva and i'm really excited about these these are actually new from zoeva and they are the spring strobe spectrum well they, these are the new spectrum palettes basically they've released three highlight ones they've done spring um summer and winter and I got the spring and the summer the spring and the winter sorry the summer was just very um dark quite bronzy and just a bit too dark for me because I'm really fair and I can't generally I don't lean towards those kind of very bronzy highlights because I think that I never kind of overly bronze my face because I really quite like being pale um so I went for the ones that were going to be really for me so 
They don't have shade names, they just have numbers, so I won't bother with telling you what those are. But this one is the spring strobe, they don't have a mirror in them. But these are the same size as a MAC blush, for reference. This is the spring one, and these are duochrome, so looking at them you're going to be like, well, I don't really get anything from those. <laughs> and I don't even know if swatching them, you're really even going to get much from them again. Just because with a ring light sometimes it can wash things out a little bit, um, but I will give it a go. That's what it looks like. We'll go for the top two. So that's the top two. And you've got your green and your blue there. So pretty. It's quite subtle, the green. Hopefully you can still see, but you can see that that's the blue. And then the bottom two. I'll show you them first. The bottom two. But the bottom two are pink and yellow. And we're not even talking gold. It's actually quite just a yellow colour. And the pink. So you've got blue, green, pink and yellow. In the duo chrome one. Really beautiful. Really excited about these. And then the winter one. That's the winter one. Which I think you can kind of see those colours a lot better. So the top two. Super pigmented. So you've got kind of a silvery white and then this is almost a peachy sort of colour. A peachy sort of pink. And then the bottom two. So then you've got pink and a blue. <laughs> spring. These are the spring. And then those ones are the window. They're gorgeous. I love the highlighter in the little blush trio. So I don't know if you remember getting this, me getting this. It was £13, just crazy. Um, but in here you get like a contour colour, which is really great for pale people because it's quite cool toned. You get a highlighter in there and then you get like a highlighting sort of blush. And the highlighter in there is so amazing. It's so pigmented. Kind of a goldy colour. You can see it's really intense. So I knew the highlighters were going to be really good. I really do like Zoeva. Anyway, those just came in standard black packaging and they did come in with um, a clear film to protect the top of the actual highlighters. The only thing I'll say about these is they are the same sort of thing as I don't have any NARS, but I know that NARS packaging is that kind of rubbery and it does attract fingerprints like nobody's business. So um, yeah, these are going to really attract fingerprints, but they are incredibly beautiful and if you really love highlighters, and you really love different coloured highlighters, something quite different, then these are definitely for you because they are so beautiful. So difficult to not get the glare. Very much like the Moonchild Glow Kit, um, which is the Anastasia. So very much like the colours in the Moonchild. These are quite those nice, pale, frosty, unusual colours. The green in here is very stunning. I'll do a little swatch of that one beside it. So that is the Anastasia and that is the Zoeva. So they are incredibly similar. And the blue one, I'll do that one as well. Yeah, you can't even tell the difference from that one. That's the Zoeva. That's the Moonchild. That's the Zoeva. They are identical colours. Again, <laughs> uh, Pink Heart, Anastasia, Zoeva. You cannot tell the difference. So if you want to save some money, because these um, beauties are £19.50 each. For this um i can't remember how much this was um, i want to say it was in the 30s so quite expensive quite difficult to get a hold of i don't even know if it was limited edition i don't even know if it's available any longer if you couldn't get a hold of that then definitely just keep your eyes open for these um i think love makeup has them in at the moment i actually got mine directly from Zoeva, and it worked out cheaper to get them from germany um because they only charge £2.50 postage on top of the price um, and they're 50 pence cheaper than Love Makeups and they came super fast they actually just came in three days so that was really good but they are incredibly beautiful and I am so happy to have them in my collection because they are really really beautiful colours and that's it for today's haul I was really long and really waffly and I really apologise but I really hope you've enjoyed it and I've said really quite a lot I'm gonna go now um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll try and do some videos using some of this coming up I hope you check out the kind of chatty get ready with me which is this look here where I tried on some of these products and kind of chatted about them while I was using them and I have a clothing haul coming up and also my glossy box video so please do um, stick around on my channel and check those out or subscribe if you haven't don't forget to like share and comment I'm gonna love and leave you and see you all soon hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing 
Bye, guys.